I think I've found my new favorite plugin for 2024. It's been here and here in this video, we're gonna have a look at the new background remover from FX Factory. So you can see here from the results we're getting quickly from the built-in camera on the MacBook Pro, uh, my little Sony camera, and then also the selfie camera on my iPhone. We're getting some good results. And also we have a less than perfect lighting setup here. We're gonna have a look at some of the settings. It can blur the background, it can remove the background, it can add an outline to objects. So we're gonna have a look at some different types of clips that we can work with here in Final Cut Pro. Let's dive right into it. We're gonna come up to our titles and generators and we're just looking for a plain background here. So we'll scroll all the way down and look for the solids. We'll grab the custom one and we're just gonna set this to a colored background that we can overlay some other clips onto. So I'm gonna jump up to my inspector and just select a color for this background. We won't go for a green or blue just to kind of keep it away from the green screen idea. We're removing the background here without any green screen. So once we've got that background added, I'm gonna come up and we're gonna have a look first of all at these three clips that you'll have seen in the intro my iPhone front-facing camera, so the selfie camera, uh, my MacBook Pro built-in webcam on my 16 inch MacBook Pro, and then my Sony RX105. So we've got some selections made of these videos already. We'll just drag them right down to the timeline and we'll trim them up a little bit. So this is the camera from my iPhone front facing camera. We're gonna jump into our effects on the right hand side and come to the background remover. And we're just gonna begin by dragging and dropping this right onto the clip. So you can see right away, we're getting a pretty good key considering how similar that background is to some of the tones in the foreground. Now we have two basic controllers in our background remover. One is the sensitivity, which we can slide left and right. So essentially less sensitivity or more sensitivity. And you can see from the initial playback that we are getting some little bits of jumpiness around the edges. If we wanna remove these flashing areas around the hair, then we can increase the sensitivity and it will start to work on those edges a bit more. Now, considering this video is shot in a poorly lit area this footage is looking pretty good so that's the footage from my iphone we'll just zoom out a little bit here and i'm going to stretch out my clip here and we'll come to my macbook pro camera so this is the built-in webcam in the macbook pro we'll just delete the audio from these and you can see with this footage we'll just trim this down a bit more again we'll drag that background remover on so this is a MacBook Pro camera, not super high quality camera, but still we're getting a reasonable cutout of that image. We're still getting some of this shakiness around the edges, but that'd be something you might expect um, with this kind of poorly lit footage. So the lighting was really the natural light from the window and then also some kind of indoor lighting. So again, we can reduce the sensitivity, which will sharpen up some of the edges, uh, but might make a little bit more shake in some areas of this. So we can kind of balance this out and figure out where we want that to sit. But still, even with that shakiness, this background remover is working pretty well. Let's drag down the RX100 footage. So this is the, the best of the three cameras, I would say. Um, so it's uh, sharper, we're getting a reasonably nice image there. And if we drag this on, then you can see we're getting a reasonable cutout, still some choppiness in the edges there. Now, one thing we can do with this, so you can see the hair requires quite a different treatment um, to the outline at the bottom. If we do wanna cut something like this out, then actually we can add the background remover twice. So I'm gonna just add a shape mask here and I'll get the shape mask to just work on the hair up here. So it's just really working on that top right area of the hair. And then we can add the background remover again and it will key this out again. So we've got that shape mask here, we've added our second background remover, and now with this second background remover, we can dial down the sensitivity for that, and we can add a new shape mask here. And again, we can essentially get this to work away from that hair area. So you can see now as we stretch this out, we can keep the sensitivity up on the hair and down for the body. Okay. And we can simply grab that shape mask that we already had for our topmost layer and stretch it out. And we'll just square this off a little bit and stretch it out 
So we can blend those two together and really get one shape mask to manage the top of that video and get one shape mask to work on the bottom around the areas of the t-shirt where we need that less sensitivity option set. So we can really kind of blend those two together. So again, this is a really nice kind of key considering where we started with this footage. And obviously it's not perfect. We're still getting some shakiness around the edges there, which will be able to be fixed with good lighting. But I am seeing a lot of social media videos where people do want these quick cutouts on top of their videos. Now, if we stretch this out even more, the video you'll have seen in the intro of this lady dancing, higher quality video, nice natural sunlight. When we drag the background remover on here, it does a really neat job right from the get go of actually cutting that out. and. You can see we're still getting some flashing in some parts of that image where we can, if we dial down the sensitivity, we can improve that. And obviously we can do that different blends with different blend modes, but we're getting a pretty good cutout for some fun videos or social media videos that we can work with with this background remover. And we can obviously play around with these types of things on some different backgrounds. So we've got this kind of cool train tunnel. Let's drop this below this lady. So you can see we can start to kind of play around with this, get some cool effects there. We can also as well, not just remove the background, but also blur it too. So if we select this video, we will come up to our background remover and you can see the output here is the subject, the background, the mask, solid color or defocus. So we're just gonna click defocus. And so you can see we're back to that original image, but we're defocusing the background. So we've got a certain amount of blur that we can put into our background. And if we come back to one of the videos of me we'll pick this second one from the macbook pro camera then we can use that defocus to good effect to blur out that background and because the color is the same in the background this will kind of help to improve a little bit of that shake around the edges so you won't have those holes as noticeable so you can see we're getting a real nice kind of blur of the background we also have if we come to here we'll go to solid color where we can have the subject as a solid color and the background as a solid color. We can also add an outline above or below the video. Now this kind of thing would be useful if we were starting to work with say a dancing video like this. We wanted to do the old Apple style silhouette dancing so we can select that background remover and then we can use the solid color and we can add that outline. We'll increase the width of it. Let's make it a red outline and we'll make the color in the middle green and we will flip this color of the outline a little bit go for a black outline so you can see here we get that dancing in there we can obviously decrease the sensitivity you can see how we can play around with this we can obviously work on these areas to reduce the sensitivity so we don't get those flashes of color there but you can see that's pretty nice clean outline silhouette image and again useful if you're looking to kind of create as more stylized videos and we also have some pre-built options in here as well we'll zoom out a little bit on our timeline so you can see we have we borrow this lady again we have some pre-built options so we have a contour glow we have a purple trace let's delete the contour glow from there and so these basically outlines that we can add outside our video to add a style to it. And you can see it's starting to work really nicely there. A little bit of refinement needed with the sensitivity and the contour, but overall, these are really nice ways to use this plugin. We also have this witness relocation option as well. So we'll grab this video, we'll drop down the audio there. And with this one, we'll use the witness relocation to outline and remove the foreground. We can do this in a couple of different ways. If we come to the options up here, we can output it as a defocus, but instead of defocusing the background, we'll turn the outline off here. We're gonna defocus the subject. And so you can see we're actually defocusing the subject in the video. So you can use this for kind of different purposes and then you can obviously work with the sensitivity and the amount to kind of decide how much you want to defocus a certain area of your video. 
So from this quick overview of the background remover, at first glance, looks really awesome. It's got some great options there for removing different parts of the, the image. And it's a really great tool for creating that quick transparency that you'll often need for social media posts and also has some great tools in there for other functions as well. I would love to hear what you think about the background remover. Definitely a very cool plugin. Please do leave your comments in the post and do ask me any questions if you have them. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.